Hey YouTube, Nandor690 here and I'm coming at you with another video for the Apple TV 4. And this one's going to be on how to install the Multiple Arcade Machine Emulator, or MAME for short. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to properly install it, so to speak, so that you actually have a working MAME emulator on your Apple TV 4. Unlike some other websites that just give you some basic directions and don't even bother to worry about if it works or not just going off of whatever and then you find out that this isn't working for most people so I'm going to take you step by step as clear as I can on how to do that I'm going to give you links in the description for uh, the emulator and then I'm also going to give you a link in the description for the ROMs and, uh, <laughs> I will say that um, unlike Providence TV in a couple of ways and that Providence TV is for um, like Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, stuff like that this emulator is going to be specifically for playing old style arcade games like from the 70's and the 80's like uh, Space Invaders, Donkey Kong Jr., the original Mario stuff like that and also unlike Providence TV anytime you want to add a new ROM you're gonna to have to go through this process again of installing it through Xcode there isn't any server that you can log into and upload your ROMs from there um, which is a lot easier than doing it this way but that's just the way that it is one other thing I think the Apple TV controller actually works pretty decent with these games because these old games didn't use a lot of different controls so the basic controls that you can have on your um, Apple TV controller uh, should be good enough to play most of these games. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, go to the GitHub website, click HTTPS, copy this link, and we'll open up Xcode. We'll go to Source Control, Checkout, and we'll paste it right here. We'll click Next. We'll download to the documents and I'll replace mine. That way I'm starting fresh just like you guys. Okay, once it loads up in uh, Xcode, we'll go ahead and just direct it towards our Apple TV so that's already ready to go. First thing you're going to do is go down here to resources and we need to delete all these red files because they're not going to work at all and all they're going to do is give you uh, errors and it'll never actually install on your Apple TV if you don't do this okay now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to uh, the place where you downloaded uh, M -E -M -A -M -E, and make sure it's the one for the Apple TV double click on it go down to this folder RES double click on that and you're gonna make a new folder in here called ROMs now I can tell you that after working with this and actually figuring out how to get these ROMs to work I have found that only certain games work with this emulator and it has to do with these sample ROMs right here um, in the research that I've done I've read that um, for MAME, the original ROMs will only work if you have the sample ROM to go with it. And these are the sample ROMs that were given to you when you downloaded it, uh, this emulator from uh, GitHub. So what we're going to do is, we're going to go to uh, the other link that I'm going to give you in the description, which is going to take you to this website. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on ROMs, ISOs, and Games click on MAME rounds and then what you're going to do is you're going to have this list open and you're going to go through and decide which games you want we're going to start out with this uh, Astro game first so we'll go to A and we'll scroll down to it's probably going to be a lot of games so let's get down here towards the bottom to the S's or the AS okay Astro B is going to stand for Astro Blaster 
and this could be hit or miss. So far, I've been pretty lucky. Um, only a couple of games haven't worked. But there's a bunch of different versions of the same game. So what you might have to do is just download a different version and then put it into the uh, emulator and see if it works. We're going to go with Astro Blaster version 1. We'll go down here to download links and quick navigation. And then we're, if you notice right here, it gives us the link to download version 1. But there, sometimes there's going to be a message right here that says to use this ROM with MAME, you also need to download this following parent ROM. And you're going to need to download both of those. So, first we'll download version 1. And it's going to give you this little thing right here, so just click to play. And then just wait for it to give you the answer. Oh. And then if you do that, just go ahead and click out of that, and then come back here. And then type in the answer, which is switch to progressive. Right here. And sometimes it'll be different. Usually it's switched to progressive, but sometimes it may be different. Hit enter. I guess that way it knows you're not a robot now. So we'll download Astro Blaster version 1. Okay, now remember we need to go back and download this parent ROM. And we'll click download links. Take us down here. And we'll click on the parent ROM. And then we'll come here and we'll click again and we'll download it. Okay, and I have already downloaded a couple other games, but I just wanted to do that one to show you that sometimes there's going to be a parent ROM that has to go with it. So now we'll just minimize this. And now what you're going to have to do, if it did it automatically for you, we'll just drag and drop these out of there. And then what you do is right click on it and compress file. Right click on this one and compress that file. And then these you can just get rid of them. Or you can save them as backups, whichever you prefer. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, make sure that we keep these together, is you're going to go back to your uh, MAME to Apple TV folder, go back to RES, click in this ROMs folder that you created, and stick these two files in here. Okay, and these are some other ones that I've made up. So we won't copy that one or that one in. And we'll copy these over to the, over to the ROMs folder. And those are just ones that I downloaded from the same website. I just wanted to do one, like I said, to show you guys. But you'll do the same thing with all of them. And as you can see, not all of them have a parent ROM that go with them. It was So far, it's just been this Astro Blaster one. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to copy all of these and make sure that you get it into this resource folder. You'll get a little uh, prompt right here. Just click Finish. And you'll know that it's in the right folder because you'll see them right here. And on some of these, some of them I get an A, sometimes they get a question mark. Um, so far I have uh, realized that that hasn't mattered too much. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to click play. And we'll get this uh, provisioning profile error, so we'll click fix it. And then just click cancel, and then click on the red error here, click on the red error there. So you get this screen right here. Go here and just delete everything after com dot and then just put whatever you want. Pick your Apple ID and then click fix issue. And you'll see it disappear and the issue has been fixed. So now we'll play it again. And go ahead and let that build.
going to take a few minutes, but I'm not going to cut away or anything. I'm going to show you that it's going to take a little bit, but it will build. Built successfully, now it's installing. And now it's running. And you want to wait until it pops up and it says there's no controller detected, switch into TV remote, smiley face. Wait for that before you disconnect your Apple TV. Okay, you guys, we're back out to the Apple TV now. And what you're going to do is scroll down to the bottom and you'll see that you have MAME installed. Go ahead. Don't click on History Channel. Click on MAME. Go ahead and let it load up here. Okay, now you're gonna see, even if you didn't install the games uh, on Xcode, you're gonna see all these games here. And this is why I say, like, I think for some reason, only the sample ROMs that I showed you in there are the only games that are gonna work on this. I've tried adding sample ROMs to that folder and then adding the ROM to the ROM folders and it still wouldn't show up here. And what you're gonna do to scroll through the games is we'll call this up here the D-pad. You're not going to click on it, you're just going to stick your finger like at the top, it'll scroll up, at the bottom it'll scroll down. So we're going to scroll up to Astro Blaster, and then I'm not clicking, I'm just tapping it, but not clicking, you know what I mean? Alright, and then we'll press the play button, we'll press the play button again, and then once you get here, you just swipe to the right, swipe to the right again, and the game will start. And now what you're going to want to do here in order to actually get the game to start playing is hold down the play button and then click the D-pad. And now we are playing. And you'll use the D-pad to scroll. You'll use the play pause button to shoot. And I'm only doing this one-handed here so it's a little tough. But you can see I'm shooting with the play button and I'm scrolling left and right with the d-pad and I'm not clicking on it I'm just putting my finger on each side let's see if we can get a couple more of these guys well, I lost okay now to get out you'll just hit menu and let's see what's another game that we uh, that we did let's try I put pole position in here let's see if we, that one will work so we'll click play on pole position click play again and that one has an error, so I'll probably have to find another pull position ROM and try that one. So what you'll do is just click the menu button. Okay, what's another one that we did? Um, Warrior. Click play, play. Swipe right, swipe right. And if it doesn't play, and it gets stuck, what you'll do is the uh, Apple TV button right here, double click that, force quit the app, come back here, go back into it, let it load, and we'll try one more real quick. Donkey Kong Jr., click play on that, click play again, swipe right, swipe right, it says insert coin, so we'll press play, and then click down on the d-pad and the game will start playing and this one's pretty much the same way it's the d-pad and the play button will jump click the d-pad okay you see the d-pad will go left and right that'll jump this will go up and down so there you go guys and uh yeah sorry about my uh fingers here I just got I'm a mechanic I was working overtime and I haven't taken a shower yet because I wanted to test a few more things and I got it to work so I wanted to get this video out to you guys so I hope that it explains everything well enough for you to get it running and what to do if the game freezes how to force quit it and go back into it um, if you have any questions as always let me know in the comments and I'll get right back to you thanks for watching and I'll check you guys later